This is the third part of the magazine design. And to save time, what I've done is placed one of my larger um, images into Illustrator. Okay, not Photoshop. This is Illustrator. And um, I've traced the masthead. So didn't try to waste time trying to find the right type and trying to match it up, but I just traced it using the pen tool. Um, so what I'm going to do is select all of these. Right now they have a black outline. I'm going to remove that and um, just fill it with some color. doesn't matter what. We can change that in, Illa in Photoshop. And so I'm going to select them. Um, I'm going to copy them, Control-C, and then I'll move them over to Photoshop and Control-V to paste them in. And um, I'm, I'm going to choose to do this as a smart object just because all of the attributes of a vector image come over with the smart object. So it's going to be really clear and sharp when we place this in. And now I do want to make sure that I do not check add to my current library because sometimes, especially on the school computers, it'll take forever and kind of hang up. So if you choose smart object, which I suggest, uncheck add to my current library. And I'm going to size that down. I'm going to grab a corner and hold down Alt or Option to size from the middle. And then I'll place it. Size it down just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. I do want to see how it looks on top of her forehead. Um, and it doesn't look bad. I do have examples of in my files that I've saved for my research. I have examples of the L going on top or behind the, the model. And this time I'm going to choose to go on top. Um, I'm going to go grab a different color though. So with that smart object, this is the L again placed. I'm going to choose effects and go down to, you can't see it, but there is one called um, color overlay. So here's the window that pops up, and these are all the different effects you can choose. Since I chose color overlay in the pop-up, there it is. And then I can go pick um, a color and even an opacity. So here's my color. Get the color picker up here. I could go in and find um, a color in here, which I may do. I think that looks pretty darn nice. OK those. Yeah, I think that looks great. Okay, so next, um, I want to, um, I'm going to take the same um, uh, masthead and duplicate it and put it on the spine, because I do have to do the spine. And actually, the spine I'm going to make maybe, maybe all gold. So I'll try that. I'm going to use my selection tool. I made a new layer. I'll select that whole spine area. And then I'm going to select um, that gold and then Alt Backspace to fill that in. Let's see. Yeah, that looks, that looks okay. I'm all right with that. Um, I could also pick white or black, whatever, whatever, something that makes sense. I'm going to duplicate this smart object by dragging it on top of this new layer icon. Now I have two of them. Control T. I'm going to reduce this one. I'm going to get this ready to go on the side. So I'm holding down shift to make sure as I rotate that it's exactly um, at a 90 degree angle. Hit enter and then I'm going to double click this color overlay and then choose like, I'm going to choose white I think. Okay that, so there it is. I'm going to use the move tool to move it over. Whoops. Let's zoom in so we can be sure we're grabbing it. Yeah. Maybe we'll just hide that so I can be sure to. There we go. Now it's behind it. I'm going to move it on top so I can see it. And then do a control T again and size this down so it fits in that spot nicely. And then while I'm here, I'm going to put my type in. So I'm going to use the Type tool, which is a shortcut T. I'm going to click. And 
then I'll key in like uh, Emma Stone. I'm going to put a couple spaces, hold down shift and use a vertical bar, which is right underneath the delete key. A couple spaces and then fall looks maybe, just something. Got to make something up, right? Um, this time, oops, control A and I'm going to change it from a gold to maybe black. Um, I'm going to try that Source Sans Pro. Uh, maybe, yeah, we'll do light. Size it down a little bit. Click and drag to the left. It's about right. Enter, Control T, or Command T. And I'll rotate this, holding down Shift to get it exactly. sure I have this exactly centered. I might take that um, down a bit and then maybe change it to a regular so we can see it. Now to do some finite adjustments on my on my text, um, I'm going to use the, the, the type tool or character. Um, and so I need to raise this up a little bit. So I'm going to probably right about there. Make this a little larger. Yeah, that looks good. OK. Then let's turn on our um, masthead and 